Stepford County Railway has given us two sneak peeks since the last RTN for their next major update. One shows a station with a different look, and the other is We'll learn more about these sneak peeks today. British Railway also has a new preview, showing a new livery and a new train in the next update. And many more coming into this episode, featuring Abelio's exclusive previews, RSU's environmental feature, and Croydon's shocking removal. That's what's coming up on this morning's Roblox Festival News. What is up, RTN Nation? I'm your host, Train Spotting Mayhem. Let's get right into the news! Now, before we begin, just to make you aware, today's RTN will feature multiple presenters at once reading each of the headlines, since Peng does need some help. And of course, I'm going to be starting with the Stephen County Railway Sneak Peek! Their first uncovered sneak peek on the 30th of January shows a station with three platforms, two of which serve express surfaces by the 3D marking, a footbridge, a sick looking bench, and a fashionable looking station with proper detail. Judging by the form, the scenery, and the fact that this is a connect owned station, this is likely to be Edgemead Station, meaning it's reaching the third upgrade of its history. It's been a while since we've had a good upgrade at these countryside stations, so it's pleasant to see something is being done. Now what does the sneak peek from yesterday feature? Have a quick think about what it could be. It's at Cambridge Street Parkway, and you guessed it, it shows a new mess train, but with the worst train in SCR, the Class 319! And this time it's got a nice immersive look on the front, giving life to the train like wrinkles planted on its face. Since it is version 2.0 emphasising its size, this might be one of the trains that will get meshed along with the 321 and the 508, which are also among the most disliked trains in SCR. This update will also get a huge seat overhaul across the network since the same new seats I've mentioned in Edgemead are also in Cambridge Street Parkway. Now this should be obvious since I'm an SCR fanboy, but I am very eager to see this update, and hopefully you are as well. British Railways has a new preview to showcase their new livery of the upcoming 171. First Northern, now Southern. This picture shows two of these trains with the new Southern livery at Freeston Junction. That's it from the preview. One note to add is the developer Ollie st who states that the Class 171 will not be purchased separately from the other Turbostar. You just got RSU'd again. Rail Sim Universe still isn't over with its numerous of patches and new features. The first is the patch on the 29th only really adding surface shutdown automatic teleportation and ocular shore case. Pretty insignificant. What isn't insignificant however is night lighting. Adding building illumination to the map along with new hordes and adjustments in the same update released on the 31st. The final patch for now was on the 2nd which was all about fixes and improvements. That's not all however as we get the final image of an F40 PH train that is connected with Bombardier bi-level coaches. The caption is, react if you want next update, already gives us the sign that there's definitely going to be a patch right after this video is released. Croydon! That's right, we got new stuff to hear about Croydon, like new modern flats, and yet still flexing with the Generation 2 and Viro 200. We also have a new voting poll. When Wheat was originally making Croydon, construction works was going on around Catherine Street and Queen's Garden, something to do with the bankrupt council's new flashy building. Since release, these developments have been finished. We are planning on refurbishing many areas, and we are not sure whether to rebuild this to the same as it is now, or whether to update this area and potentially some others up to how it is now. The obvious result was to update the area and get the modern day Catherine Street. In other news, we do have a large load dropped by Wissabix, showing a Nordic of a company called CBT Buses? This announces the Nordic is available on Croydon companies. 
Compass has released a new pass on Croydon with various high spec Sapphire branded vehicles, assuming to be six, along with a retune on all the Enviro 400 MMCs. Finally, the elephant in the room is the car situation. For a little while now, newcomers to Croydon have been unable to purchase cars as they would have instinctively buy one, then complain when they couldn't get a bus and that driving cars gets no points. Obviously not true. Recently, an update seems to have happened that's completely broken the physics of cars for the remaining people who own them. And because of this, along with the dwindling usage of the feature with existing car owners, they have regretfully made the decision to remove the functionality entirely in the latest update. Since they do not see it worth the time and resources that would be required to bring them back into a wild king state. What a shame. As a Croydon user, nobody cares about them anyway. Let's talk about Double Del Dove Del. They have added new switches and interlocking mechanisms, giving the game a much more realistic signaling approach. Not like an SCR. SCR, please redo your signaling system. So, how does it work exactly? So you start off with uh, the neighboring station that wants to give you a train. He gives you a call, right? He just gives you one ding and you get the bell ringing at your station. You respond with another bell saying, what's up? They then give a code. For example, three presses and then hold and then one press, which would be ordinary passenger train. You respond with the same way. So three tap, hold, one tap. They then, or you, give them the release that the block is clear. Then you switch it and it shows on the parameter that it is on line clear. Then, after the train departed, the dispatcher from the station who wants to give you a train calls you and says, yo, he departed, and then you put this switch on to line is under use right now. It's a different meaning, but so, let's head on to another news. No. What about the sleep peaks, you may ask? So, the first one shows a new station, assumably classically Euphrop. The next one shows the implication of the battery repeaters and the RACD indicators. Guati reveals that they've been updating stations, free stations in fact, in the past three days. They have indeed been busy. They say it couldn't be done. And Meow Hab has implicated the panels for the battery repeaters and the RACD indicators. <laughs> Streamline's recent update of version 0.8.4 is here. Yesterday's Streamline update brings you new features for the Consist Manager. You can now search and filter for certain trains, making your Consist building much easier. Various smaller bugs have also been fixed. Speaking of which, it's kind of strange to think that Streamline started the trend of Consist Management, as RSU and British Railway are planning to add the feature very soon. Before we finish, Abelio has got three previews which are blurred. First preview shows the second last car delivery for Project Birmingham, which is the BMX, I mean the BXMX5. The second preview shows the same car but in different variations. And the third shows a Dyram and Plaxton Centro pulling at a bus stop, going towards Birmingham via Newtown. But wait, there's more. We have exclusive previews from LD himself, giving us two images to look at. The first one is the Miller Street Bus Depot, with a few bus drawings, which is a West Midlands Bus Eclipse 3. And finally, the second one is the showcase of EMS Team on the Police, which shows a scenario of a bus being under attack at Moore Street, Queensway. And that is all for RTN. Thank you guys for watching this broadcast. And I will see you later. 